Oh, that's behind by the looks of it. Coming out the left side. Hit it! Play oh, down! <laughs> Got him! Play <laughs> down. Oh, well, well that'll look great, didn't it? Um, there's a bit more story to it actually. This is the day before and we actually had planned to go out and do this shot. Okay, so we should be right on 3,000 or thereabouts. So let's... Okay, well, that's where it should be. We know that spot, don't we? Yep. So I've got 30 mil in the scope already, so one, two, three, four, four seventy. Let's see exactly what we need with these conditions. Should be 70 something. What was the temperature? 8 degrees Celsius, 48 Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's go to that. That's 40, oh sorry, 75 mil. Or 260 in the MI. Going to go. Left and low. Quarter of a target left, two targets low. I, I was wonder if you saw that because there's a tiny bit of light there. Yeah, I wonder, yeah. Right, nice bit of dust. One and a half targets right, one target low. Okay, well I held to that spot. Okay. Well that was pretty nice actually. It was. Wind at target is low. Only about one or two oh, miles in it. being sheltered by those trees, isn't it? Yeah. Left and oh, low. Yep. Quarter target left, one and a half targets low. Oh, tiny dust, bottom left corner, small dust, just off. Okay, well that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Right and low, uh, half target right, one target low. Well that went awesome. Those 10 rounds of Sierra Match Kings are the ones that we used and at that last lot there they shot really well so 
that's what we're planning on using. Um, we know we've got calm weather coming tomorrow. There's not going to be any wind, so that's the sunrise you're looking at there. Um, I have 25 of those rounds. I've loaded up. I've cleaned that brass and put 25 of those Sierra Match Kings into that uh, brass we just used. So that's what we're going on that side of things. Um, and we're ready to go out and give it another crack. It's only 25 rounds, but really hope to get it done in less than that. Um, here we are setting up. It's um, just before seven o'clock on a nearly winter's morning. Um, and we're out to actually see how we're gonna go. We're using the same rigs as what we had. So we've got the Valdata um, Gen 2 Recon scope, which is a first focal plane, very fine reticle um, scope that runs up to 30 power, which we're using on top of the Valdata adjustable base. That adjustable base gives us 45 minutes of, sorry, 45 mil of cant onto the scope already. It's adjustable at different points, but that's how, where we've got it set up. Um, so then we're only going to need 30 mil or around 100 minutes of elevation in the scope to get on here. We had a maximum scope setting of just over 240 minutes, or that's um, just r roughly on the 70 mil is what we're actually using to do this shot. So really going to, worked well the day before. We've got high hopes for today, but that's what we're up to. So we'll set up. Sam is also going to use that um, adjustable scope base. That's our new, it's a development system that we're actually looking at probably being able to sell to people, but we're testing it. Yesterday, it was really important to have it. The buffeting wind would have made it nearly impossible to try and see things when you're sitting up in the wind, but laying down really fixed that problem. Now, truth is, Sam really likes her sitting position, um, so that's how she would have done it in the way of doing on a calm day, but in the name of testing what we're doing and seeing how it all works and that sort of stuff, Sam's going to use our adjustable base again. So that's where we are setting up there. We've got a little bit of time to wait till the, um, till the sun comes up. Uh, there's about 20 minutes of where we're actually waiting for things. Um, and what's coming up is after we've shot around about 10 rounds, and I, don't, I can't tell you exactly, it was, uh, listen, it was somewhere between seven and 10 rounds we'd actually shot, and we'd got to the point where it was making sense. Um, still a fair bit to go, but here's where we got to at that stage. Left. They were the bottom edge, one target left. Oh, just off left edge. Like I moved two clicks and I reckon it went two clicks. Oh, okay. Oh, dust, bottom left corner, just off. <laughs> I'm sure I was nigging up on it. Yeah, man. Oh, dust behind, by the looks of it. Coming out the left side. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Plate down. Awesome. Well. It's done. Plate down. Well, that worked really easily. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Let's just see if we can lob a couple of these. I'm just going to do a couple more and just see how consistent they can be because it's got that knockdown on. Yep.
Oh, oh. dust. <laughs> Just behind. Wow. Okay, well, that's, um, <clears throat> about as close as we're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> Right, three o'clock, just off right edge. Well, that went well, and it looked like we backed it up as well. As you saw, when he just hit the target, if it had been a hanging steel, which we probably should have used, then it looked like that next shot would have clobbered it properly, but um, uh, you get what you get. It is obviously way too far for a 6.5 Creedmoor, but still managed to put it off, so super happy with that. For those that aren't aware, um, this is a working property. This is just the working center. These are machinery sheds and silos and bits and pieces. There's no one here. We make sure of that so it's, not, it's nice and safe. We're not shooting over the top of people. Um, just make sure for the safety side of things. Um, and for those who are curious, we went through, we, with the two lots of um, ammo we shot the day before, we went through 25 rounds the day before um, with some burger rounds and some Sierra Match Kings. We ended up using the Sierra Match Kings because they had a good amount better BC. That's why we used it. So that just worked for us a lot better um, by using the Sierra Match Kings. We only had the 25 rounds. Um, we only needed half of them to get the job done and get it backed up. Um, so they did well. The 150 grain Sierra Match Kings were the ones we used and did well. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking in on us and we'll catch you next time. Hi, guys. Sam here. For folks that are interested in our products that you will have seen in our videos, these are all products that Mark has designed through our experience in ELR shooting. We manufacture them here ourselves. The likes of our adjustable bag bases, bag riders, bipod systems, muzzle brakes, shot data recording sets, and even our great fun little 22 long rifle target. These are all available in our web store the links to which are below this video, along with our contact information. And guys, we work hard at putting these videos together, so we appreciate all the help we can get. For those of you who haven't subscribed, don't forget and hit the bell so you get notifications of when our videos come out. It would be awesome to get some financial support. So for those of you who can, you can purchase support bits on our web store, which help us bring these videos to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.